Hey everybody, <laughs> I'm Chris, one of the co-founders, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. Miriam, who's usually over here, my backpack is over here tonight, uh, she is visiting friends in Michigan. Um, anyway, uh, if you're brand new here, Keto Chow is a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. If you subscribe and hit the little bell icon, you'll probably get notified next time we go on a rampage and start posting dad jokes, which is something that we did today. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us. Uh, looks like we got Sharon here and Betsy. Yep, Miriam's still gone. Visual Kyo's here and so is Rosa Correa. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Carrie's here, just got out of class. Carrie, you'll always have class. Um, let's see. Stwong is here. Uh, so is Lori from Vancouver Island. <laughs> Visual Q says LOL mugged. <laughs> I read muggle. Uh, let's see. And Robin is here as well. Um, Rhiannon is here. So is S. Cash. So me and the kids have been liking the little joke videos they put out today. Um, let's see. Cindy's here from Southeast Louisiana. Wow. Ready, set, keto's here. So is Lynette. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Carrie says, hello, Chris, and just the chair. <laughs> Dr. Matreya is here. So is Rick Wynn. Um, let's see. Shauna is here as well. My head is itchy. Kellen, Michigan, which is where Miriam is, says, hi, Chris. Uh, Swung says, I missed all the dad jokes. So they're over on our YouTube channel. Um, I think we actually made them for Father's Day last year, uh, but they didn't. We didn't really post them a lot, so they're getting their uh, day in the sun. Carrie is at 193 days of no coffee or caffeine. Nice. Lori W is here, and Robin says, "Made me smile for sure." Chris, there you go. Kathleen is here. So is Cynthia. Uh, Margie says hello, Chris. Um, let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Betsy says, chair, you're looking good today. Yes, it is, right? Got the little nail heads and everything like that. Um, let's see. Yeah, Carrie says, I found out with trying to get in computer jobs, I will always be learning. That's correct. No matter what, it's always going to be moving and evolving. So you will always be learning. Exchange is here. So is LaShawn. Hey, LaShawn. Um, Erica says hi from Pennsylvania. Oh, Lori went to the Lucy Desi Museum today. That's awesome. Where's that at? Brenda's here. Um, see, Bonnie says my bell is defective. I did not get jokes. <laughs> well, and it, on YouTube, um, if this, that's where you're watching it. Um, when you subscribe, you, there's a little bell. And you hit the bell and it tells you if you want none personalized or all notifications about new videos but that still only works if like on your phone if you have notifications enabled for YouTube if you have notifications turned off for the app they still won't come through uh, Debbie's here from Santa Clara California I just found out that um, Holly and Steve's son is going to be um, hanging out in Argentina for a while, starting in December. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I lived in uh, Chile for a couple of years back when I was about his age. Blaze says, hey, everyone, and Chris. <laughs> I'm kind of an afterthought. Uh, let's see, Visual Kios said, oh, we're talking to everybody. Let's see, S-Cash, so no way I could do no caffeine. Chocolate has caffeine. Yeah, but um, yeah, I started the stream already. Um, yeah, chocolate does have caffeine, but I don't count it. Carrie says, did you see my coffee joke, Chris? It was mugged. I did not. Uh, Travis is here. Uh, let's see. Meg says, good evening, Chris and Kevin. The funny thing about these chairs, we bought these chairs. I, and I've told this before. We bought these chairs, and they didn't get used for like a year. And then um, Miriam and I, during COVID, we started doing the live streams up here in our room because we were doing the daily live streams up here and the weekly live streams. You can come in. Um, anyway, what's up, Kate? I just wanted to say hi. Oh, 
Well, come on in. Say hi. Ugh. You have to kind of lean over, though. Oh, and you uh, you want more time on the switch? Is that what it is? <laughs> hey, everybody! Here's here's uh, here's Kate. Say hi, Kate. Hi. No, you're supposed to say hi, Kate. I'm not supposed to say hi, Kate. Okay. Well, you, you also need to project your insecurities because the microphone's way over here. That's so far. <laughs> I know. Anyway, okay, I'll give you more time. Anything you wanted to say to the people in particular? Um, if you're going to stay longer, I'm going to mic you. Okay. So it goes this way. Anyway. Okay, now everyone's going to say hi to you. Anyway, yeah, we started using these chairs uh, during the pandemic, which was just funny because we had had them for so long. Uh, let's see, and Robin says, I have subscriptions for several single Kyochop flavors. Is it possible to add a couple more singles to the subscription? So you're basically just in that case creating a, more subscriptions. Um, depending on how many you're adding, if it aligns with like the 20 or the 30 or the 60, you may want to consider getting the Mai Chow because uh, then you'll save 15% instead of 5%. Uh, let's see, Serena's here. Lori says, why does Keto Chow have to sit? It do doesn't have to sit. Do you know the answer to this one? It just tastes better. Yes, that's it. <laughs> why does Keto Chow, yeah, why do you, 30 minutes before drinking? Yeah, it, it just tastes better. That's literally it. It's a, all a question of taste. People tell me that they prefer meal replacements that taste good compared to meal replacements that don't. Imagine that. I know, right? So that, hence the recommendation to let it sit at least 30 minutes, preferably longer if you can. Uh, Serena's here from Helena, Montana. Whoa. That sounds like a place. Yeah, Gina's here as well. Sean says they will send notifications to your email. That is true, they will. <laughs> Dr. Matreya says, spouse is annoyed with me. We are out of eggnog. <laughs> we have some. Mike <laughs> says, hello, keto nerds. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, and Shauna says, I just now got my YouTube reminder. Uh, let's see. Linda's here. See, Shauna says, hi, Kate. You know, you know Shauna. You don't know Serena, though. Now you can meet her. Hi. I'm sure she, she's good. Yep. Uh, Blaise says, hi, Kate. Stwong says, yay, Kate. Um, Mikhail, his he, SB, Ma sorry, SB says, what's up, Chris? Uh, Miriam's in Michigan. That's what's up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Betsy says, oh, good. Hi, Kate. Yeah, and Carrie says, yeah, chocolate is a different form of caffeine. It doesn't make you crash. Probably. I just know that it's not as much, at, at least. Mom would tell you to lean over a little bit so you're more in the frame, right? Anyway, <laughs> Gina says, hi, Kate. See, everyone's saying hi, Kate. Everyone likes likes to see you. Sean says, she looks like her mother. Not there you go. I, right? <laughs> and a little bit like me, fortunately, not as much. I have your length of nose. Okay. Yeah. Mom's nose is a little short. I can do it better than you. Okay. Anything I can do, you can do better. I can do anything better than you. <laughs> yeah. Sean says, how was your trip, little Kate? Ellie, Kate just got back from doing a week-long... Um, Church camp. Yeah. I, yep. And it was okay. Although the food was... Uh. Mm, <laughs> it's a good thing you had a uh, keto chow to lean back on. And... Yeah, there. So like for the dinners, like there was two nights where they just didn't have anything for me. Yeah, there was no meat, right? <laughs> yeah. They had a lot of vegan options, right? Yeah, it was like. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see. Julie's here. Mike says hi, Kate. Let's see. Oh, Carrie, when made his blueberry keto chow. Just drank it warm, and it was so good. It's like a warm blueberry pie. That doesn't sound bad. If you mix it up warm, you don't have to let it sit for, for it to uh, dissolve all the stuff. But yeah, that was a good question, by the way, uh, why we, re we recommend at least 30 minutes. Family says, good evening. Noticed egg white powder getting low. Will you be getting more? Seems hard to get right now other places. Um, when we run out of that, the most likely scenario is... We won't be getting more until the price comes down, unless we're going to reintroduce um, it at a higher price point, which would be the other solution, because the prices 
have gone up significantly on the uh, the egg white and whole egg and yolk powder and everything to do with eggs. Although I think it's gotten a little better. I should have uh, Megan check into that. Mm. So we do this um, completely off subject, but we do these consultation things with um, a guy. And when we're doing the, I, I just don't leave the screen on. <laughs> it bugs me. You're burning down the battery. Um, when we're doing the consultations, he has a team of people who all they do is listen to all the calls and listen for him to say, my team, and then he gives them instructions. So he doesn't have to take any notes. And so I'm like, my team, te have me re <laughs> remember to ask Megan about the egg powder. Um, although, hey, John, you know John, Gertler? Yeah. Yeah, he'll be watching this video, and he'll get to this part, and he'll be like, Hey, Chris, you wanted me to remind you to talk to Megan about uh, the egg white protein. He'll probably say it exactly like that. Mm -hmm. We'll see. And uh, so it might work out. Uh, let's see. Veronica has enjoyed our conversations. You're such a delightful young lady. <laughs> um, is she on one of the calls that you're on? Rhonda? Uh, or is it just when, when she came to Keto Salt Lake, she probably got to talk to you? Yeah. John says, and, uh, and on the cruise. Oh, yes. John says, Keto Chow tastes better than any shake I've ever tried letting it sit or not. Yep, there you go. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Tony's on from Nashville. Oh, Serena says, Yeah, I saw it at Keto Salt Lake, Kate, but didn't meet you. You probably saw me at Keto Salt Lake too and didn't meet me either because I was like, I am doing the live stream and don't talk to me. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Annabelle is here. Brenda says Kate has her mother's beautiful smile. Except for she has naturally straight top teeth. Oh, does she? Yeah. yeah. Like, what the heck? All right. Radical Geek is waving at you. <laughs> Bonnie says they're both beautiful. I, I'm hoping you mean Kate and Miriam. No, you. You no. are beautiful. But I did get a haircut. <laughs> You did? Uh, yeah, mom cut my hair. So ah. that's, that's why it's that's why it's like that. <laughs> uh, Annabelle is on from Queensland. Wow. I had a chocolate peppermint keto chow for breakfast today. Yummy. Uh, SB says, I've uncovered a pretty consistent trend that the very old, very expired here keto chow bulk bags lose their sweetness. Really? Um, up until 2017, we actually had 20% more uh, sucralose in keto chow. We used to have 100 milligrams and we switched it to 80 after we went to uh, keto con, the very first keto con. A lot of people were like, this is really sweet. Uh, LaShawn says, what camp doesn't serve meat? Well, they had meat at some meals, usually breakfast, right? Yeah, they had questionable eggs and ah, sausage. Questionable eggs. The bubble inches were really good, though, because, okay. like, you have to be very, very specific because it's not just buffet style. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so I would, like, get my little box and go up to the dietary lines and say, Hey, I'm Catherine Bear. What do you have for me today? And they'd go, Oh, you're Catherine Bear. <laughs> like, I have meat and cheese and meat and meat and meat and meat. Older friends of says, Kate, I spent 10 days at the church camp in Colorado in February, and it was the same. I had to use lots of keto chow and things I brought. Uh, did you have any of the, um, uh, what are they called? The okay. keto bricks. Oh, uh, I did not have any of the keto bricks, but I'm glad I had them. Okay, if you I needed them. I was actually them. all set with like the keto chow. Nice, okay. And I didn't even finish all of them. That's right, you had one left. Mm -hmm. uh, and Robin wants to know what's your favorite flavor of keto chow? Chocolate peanut butter. Nice. Uh, let's see, Lisa wants to know what game you were playing on the uh, Switch. Uh, Mario Kart. Mario Kart is a good one. Oh, LaShawn says J-Rob was uh, went 60 to 70 before the price went up on products and the bag isn't that big. Mm. Uh, Annabelle wants to know, what are your Keto Chow electrolyte tablets like? I keep forgetting to use drops and powders, so I think tablets are better than for me. Uh, it's a regular, it's about the same size as like a calcium pill. Um, technically, it is a, okay, pill sizes they when they they keep on going up but then when you get bigger they go down to zero and then they go to zero zero and then zero 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 
I don't know why the same thing happens on cables. Um, gauge zero is smaller than gauge zero zero. They call it double lot. Huh. Anyway, a double lot pill. I, I, if I remember correctly, the the tablets are a double aught, which isn't quite so big. I have some here, but they're uh, broken. They're broken. There was only two in there, and they were like, because we left the, the lid open, and it absorbed all the humidity. It, yeah, but as far as taking them, they take just like a regular like calcium or magnesium pill. Uh, they go down really well. So he says, I make um, other half of a shake every night for his breakfast. Only flavors I don't like, though. Uh, let's see, Swang says, I was just wondering who is taking notes for action items since Miriam isn't there. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie wants a brisket keto chow. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Serena says, you were very focused, but that's why it was awesome. <laughs> Mike says, Chris was, was busy avoiding dogs at Keto Salt Lake. <laughs> Probably. Oh, my goodness, Chris. Ashley says, thank you for the pack of keto chow and the swag bag at the Orlando Summit. You're very welcome. Julie says, Keto Chow makes the best ice cream using the Ninja Creamy. Speaking of which, I made... Uh, seven. Just, it's just chocolate. Ninja Creamies. For me? Well, for me as well. For you? Yeah. For you. Like, you can have some of mine. I was uh, little... There is one that's banana Ew. with peanut flour in it. Bob says, I normally don't care for the strawberry, but made with strawberry perfect keto MCT power, and it was great. Oh, like the, the sleepy one? No, just um, keto chip. Ah, but I did make some of the perfect keto uh, sleep plus beauty Mexican hot chocolate with the strawberry collagen, which yeah, threw you for your loop. You were like, "What the?" And then it was good, but it, you weren't expecting it, were you? Yeah, Visual Keto says egg prices are crazy everywhere right now. I live in Iowa, where we were supposed to have a ton of eggs. Uh, I have a membership at National Grocers, mainly get the dollar ninety nine dozen eggs. Wow, one bit four. Uh, Linda wants a white chocolate peppermint keto chow. Uh, I've tried white chocolate macadamia, and that was terrible. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Lynette says, that's my girl, chocolate peanut butter all the way. This cash says, I'm thinking of doing the beet butter bacon and eggs challenge in September with 2KK, but I don't know if I can give up my daily keto chow. I'm really looking forward to it. Now, I remember they did say something about that they were going to have, like, different levels of the challenge, depending on what you think you can do. Mary likes chocolate peanut butter as well. It's because it's the best. Yep. Exchange students says strawberry keto chow is as good as a waffle. Yes, it is. Mike says zero, zero, zero. That's a whole lot of nothing. Right? I just think it's funny that when you get, you know, like with uh, shotgun shells, 22 gauge is smaller than 12 gauge is smaller than 4 gauge. Eventually you get to zero gauge, which I guess is an inch. Or No. That's right. With uh, shotguns, it's fraction of a pound of lead. Ah. That's what it is. So I don't know if you can get... Uh, would, would double lot shotgun be uh, two pounds of lead? Uh, I don't know. Lord Pennsylvania says, I'm loving adding magnesium to my electrolyte drinks. Uh, my doctor encouraged me to take more, so Kyocha magnesium is perfect. She even said that. Yes. And Lysa's natural strawberry made with ice instant milkshake. Uh, Blaine says, what else might cause version 2.0 and 2.1 to lose their sweetness? I'm not sure. The only thing, thing I can think of would be heat exposure. That could do it. I have heard of sucralose um, kind of breaking down if exposed to extreme heat. But then we're talking about like 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, probably the easy fix for that is use a little bottle of liquid sweetener, taste it, and go drip, drip. Okay, that's good. So that would be my fix for it. Annabelle says, I'm confused by the two other two strawberry flavors. Which one is best? So, Kate, do you know the difference between natural strawberry and regular strawberry? Natural strawberry is with monk fruit. Regular strawberry is without. They taste, like, really, really similar. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried natural strawberry in a hot minute. So. Okay. Now, one funny thing is uh, the natural strawberry... I don't like as much as the regular strawberry just because I like the flavor profile of the sucralose better. But the natural strawberry tastes really good still mm. as long as you don't go from one to the other. <laughs> and then you're like, oh. But for people who can't do sucralose, natural strawberry works really well. 
Tony Snickers? says, I'm just a newcomer, but unfortunately found Snickerdoodle was, didn't like it. Okay, that's too bad. Laurie says, you're not feeling, if you're not feeling good and think it's electrolyte imbalance, how much keto chow electrolytes to take and how long will it take to feel better? Um, I will usually, my method for dosing, this is actually, oh, but there was a paper around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> well, it was one of the questions is, how can you tell how much electrolytes to take? You know, if you got, a, you know, recently ordered a bottle of the electrolyte drops, I'm confused, how much to take per day? How much is too much or too little? My method of dosing of the electrolytes is I will get a bottle of water. I will add like a cap full or probably two of the droppers full if I've got one of those. Shake it up. you got to shake it up or else it doesn't mix properly. Shake it up. Taste it. Does it taste salty? If yes, you've probably got enough. If no, add some more. Shake it up. Taste it again. Keep doing that until it starts to taste salty. That's my preferred way of doing it because, in my opinion, your palate will moderate your intake of salt and make salt taste good to you when you need more and not so good to you when you've had enough. So, there you go. That's my recommendation. We're what? A match, and then you're kind of similar. Okay. Annabelle says, I'm on day seven of three keto chows a day. Wow, there you go. Uh, Cindy says, y'all need it. <laughs> you know I need to buy a creamy. Everywhere I watch has it. Okay, <laughs> so that was another question. Can you use other ice cream makers for keto chow ice cream? I can't afford a Ninja Creamy right now. What do you think, Kate? Probably. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah, we actually did a, we did a roundup. There's a video. If you search for keto chow ice cream, You'll probably find the video, the thumbnail has, is very white. It's like, well, it's like vanilla ice cream on a white plate. Um, <laughs> we, I bought like seven different ice cream makers, and this was like a month before the Ninja Creamy came out. But I did an, a, a comparison. There was one from Cuisine Art. I think it was like the ICE 100 or something like that. It actually made really good ice cream. You just have to freeze the bowl ahead of time compared to the uh, compressor ones that you can just dump keto chow in, turn it on and walk away, come back and it's done. Um, my opinion is the best ice cream maker is the one that you already have. Second best ice cream maker is a Ninja Creamy. So if you have some other ice cream maker, don't worry about it. And, and then once you try the the Stuff made in the Ninja Creamy will be like, oh, this is so good. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's see, Snickerdoodles. Uh, well, Cindy says Snickerdoodle just add some cinnamon, and it's awesome. It is a little light on the cinnamon, but you can always add cinnamon. Haley doesn't like Snickerdoodle, does she? Yeah, because she doesn't like cinnamon. Weird. Uh, Serena says the same with Ivy Needles. The smaller the needle, the bigger the gauge. That's right. Uh, Betsy says, I'm hoping 2KK allows Keto Chow and B... What is allowed and what isn't is up to you. Don't forget about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dina says, I need eggnog. Anyone have that available? Um, I think we... Do we still have... I don't know that we have the individual packets right now. I don't know. I'm not in charge of stocking. I don't think that we do. Um, we should be getting them kind of soon-ish. They're coming in the fall, and it's August... We're almost to the fall. It's almost fall season. Uh, the problem is we have to actually get them in stock first. So mm. uh, Mike wants to know, will we be at Low Carb San Diego? No, we will not. We actually have stuff already planned for that weekend, uh, which is unfortunate, but there it is. Sharon says at Sam's Club today, they were selling the creamy for $149. And when I bought mine, it was like $250. That's more Anybody else says, could, could you do a donut flavor Kiyosha? Um, we probably won't make one that's that flavored, but if you add almond extract that tastes like birthday cake to the vanilla, mm -hmm. and you can go to oneononeflavors.com or just look for other flavor extracts, um, the cookies and cream and the vanilla both work really well for a variety of flavor additions. Um, Shauna says, when I make my kiochao with in the AM with hot coffee, it's still plenty sweet. Yeah. Oh. I don't need coffee. 
Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> Ready Set Keto says, Emily wants roasted marshmallow keto chip. Have you not heard of the s'mores? Holy cow. <laughs> you really like that one in root beer. I really do. <laughs> Mom doesn't like the s'mores at all. And really? she's not a, you know, she <laughs> does not like More it. More for you, I guess. I guess so. Well, and so does Matreya. Dr. Matreya really likes the, the um, s'mores. Hey, we all have different things that we like. I don't like pecans. And I think that walnuts, well, I think that pecans are a waste of fat that I could have with better nuts <laughs> or just butter. Mean. And I, and I oh, walnuts, they give me canker sores. Mm -hmm. Do you get canker sores from walnuts? No, but sometimes uh. I get like tingly mouth with pecans. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, people are talking about uh, brisket versus keto chow. I would recommend you buy brisket more than you buy keto chow, just so you know. Um, ba, ba, ba. Stephanie says, I need some help understanding something. Okay, I'm using one keto chow shake and eating one keto meal per day, fasting the rest of the day. Some people in the keto chow group say I need to make sure I'm eating enough calories. This is where I get confused. When fasting and doing keto for weight loss, do you still need to hit a certain caloric intake amount during your eating window or can I just eat till satisfied? Hope that makes sense. Okay, that is a very good question. So, what... Intensive dietary management, which is now the fasting method. Uh, that's Dr. Jason Fung and Megan Ramos. They do not recommend using fasting to reduce calories. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You're not using that as a method to, to reduce calories. You're using it as a method to allow your body to lower insulin and go through healing and stuff like that. If you're doing time-restricted feeding, which is what it sounds like you're doing, which most people just call intermittent fasting, but I'm nothing if not pedantic, right? Um, when you're doing intermittent fasting or time-restricted feeding, you would want to eat the normal amount of, well, I would actually wouldn't worry about calories, okay? Make sure you're not getting too many carbs. Make sure you are getting enough protein. That one is key. If you don't get enough protein, your body, it's, it's, it's just no good. Most women need anywhere from 90 to 120 grams of protein, depending on how tall you are and everything like that. And most women do not get enough protein. Or iron. Or iron. There's a way to solve both of those problems at the same time. Meat. Yes. <laughs> so make sure that you're getting your right protein amount. If you use the macro calculator on our website or you use the macro calculator on Maria Emmerich's website, just Maria Emmerich macro calculator, that's your Google search, um, it'll, it'll, you put in your height and your weight and all this other stuff, and it will tell you approximately how much protein to get. That is a minimum. Get at least that much. If you go over that much, hey, it's okay. Um, anyway, I wouldn't worry too much about calories. Eat enough that you're satisfied and not um, hungry. But make sure that in your eating window, you're getting the right amount of protein and you're not getting too many carbs. And everything else should be fine. Because if you're not hitting the right amount of calories, you will start using the fat stored on your body if you're getting the right amount of protein and keeping it under the carb limit. Okay, I need to catch up on comments. Julie got the cream in Costco for $149. Nice. LaShawn says, in plain water, it tastes like hose water. I have to put a lemon wedge. Hey, there you go. That's a good way to, uh, to do it. Uh, Exposing Darkness says, will you ever make it possible to add rewards to your subscription boxes? So if you mean pay for subscriptions using the rewards, no, there's no way to do it. It's a limitation of the shopping cart platform. You can pay for the first subscription in part or in full using the rewards, but for the recurring theme thing, it needs a payment method that will be available in the future, which means either PayPal or a credit card, period. That's it. Those are the only ways that it can do recurring things. Um, so... You do earn rewards for every subscription renewal, but you can't pay for them. If you want to pay for the renewal stuff, K 
cancel your subscription and make a new one. Simple as that. That's the hack. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. I'm, I might be skipping a little bit. Annabelle says, can you do subscription boxes for country outside of America? We do ship them outside of America. Well, of the United States of America. But the, uh, the shipping is terrible. Just so you know. It's LaShawn's birthday. You ready? Oh. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear LaShawn. Happy, Happy birthday to you. you. I'm just going to call her Bob. No. <laughs> Supposing Darkness says I got my replacement creamy from Ninja. Nice. Not as many button options. Huh? Mm -hmm. You probably got the five speed and, or the five options instead of the seven. I still have only ever used three options. And they're all on the five one. So he says, I see it, but I don't have any ice cream makers. Uh, I did, I've seen it. Oh, I, I did make strawberry keto chow cream popsicles. Oh, and they turned out great. Yes, according to the other half. I don't like strawberry. <laughs> yeah, Mike says, fall is coming soon. Uh, S Cash says, snickerdoodle is even better if you up the butter. That's probably not false. Well, it says, so how would you dose if using electrolyte tablets? Upper limit. Oh, that's another part of that question that I didn't get to. Um, your body has a very high tolerance for too much electrolytes. If you get too much, it just comes out in your urine or your feces. Unless you really go overboard. Upper limit, um, the most I've ever taken in one day was eight of the tablets. And I had a really bad headache. Oh, the other qu part of the question was, how quickly would I feel better? I have had times where I had a headache from dehydration and not enough electrolytes. Um, it went away in a matter of about 10 minutes by dosing with the liquid electrolytes. The tablets take longer to dissolve in your stomach. We actually have a couple of negative reviews on Amazon where people are said, said that they put the tablets in water to dissolve them and then drank it and didn't like the flavor. Yeah, that sounds a little salty. Like, why don't you just take the tablet? You swallow it. Please swallow it. Anyway. Yeah. They sound a little salty. <laughs> yeah. It also says, I catch I was really helping me to have energy. I've been tired forever. So excited. I started singing it on Keto Chat. Wow. I, I read singing in the rain. And I was really sad when it didn't say singing in the rain. It just makes me happy. That's awesome. Lisa says, I haven't had eggnog in a while. Now I want an eggnog creamy. <laughs> <laughs> Blaze the snickerdoodle mixed with gingerbread is also good. We don't have any gingerbread right now either. Oh, and Shauna points out Jordan's Skinny Syrup has a glazed donut flavor. So you could add that. Good idea. Wanda's here. Hi, Wanda. Deborah says, when will the gingerbread be back? Uh, we have not made any announcements about the uh, whether or not we're going to have gingerbread come back or not so just have a big happy no right there <laughs> well uh, if we decide to bring it back you'll know if and when we get it because before then we're uh, not gonna make any announcements at all right kate i won't even know okay john says we need butter pecan keto chow see once again i i just don't like pecans mom um, would love it though. yeah Carrie th says, I thought the s'mores kiwi chai was really good. And Bill says, well, it's in picante, so similar. Uh, let's see. Uh, bum, bum, bum. M Megan says, I totally forgot about gingerbread. Yes, that needs to come back. <laughs> Frank says, Miriam X says, don't drink your protein. Also, not to take in so much fat. You both interviewed her, but those things didn't come up. No, we've, we've talked to her about that before as well. She recommends eating whole food proteins now a lot of the stuff that she she doesn't like whey protein and i've reminded her on multiple occasions that we have milk protein isolate which is mostly the um the dairy the, the oh my gosh the protein that's in cheese but where maria is coming from is she deals with a lot of people who can't do any dairy whatsoever of any kind and because of the uh because of the typical things that she see, sees with her clients, she recommends that you completely eliminate dairy and coffee 
and alcohol and a whole bunch of other things. And if that's what it takes for you, then that might be what it takes for you. It may be that keto chow would not work for someone who is in that state. We still like you anyway. Come at me, bro. No. <laughs> yeah, we do still like you. <laughs> I enjoy telling people not to use my product. Um, if it isn't suitable for them, like the chocolate peanut butter, n unsuitable if you're allergic to peanuts. Yeah. Also, if you are allergic to dairy, well, we have a couple of the ones that you can use. Um, savory. Yeah, the savory ones. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see. Hey, Joe's here. Says, what's up, fam? Oh. Nancy says, so glad you're not coming. So glad you are not coming to the Metabolic Summit in San Diego. So sad. Ah. Oh <laughs> I was looking forward to meeting you personally. So we won't be at the, um, here, let's just go over here to this website right here. Sharing. Uh, if we go to lowcarbevents.com. Okay. Keto Summit Omaha, we're going to that one. Uh, low carb San, or this the, the other one we're not going to. Low carb San Diego not going to. Uh, Proper Human Diet Summit in Tennessee. Kate's actually coming to that yeah. one. Keto Symposium not going to that one. Keto Palooza going to that one. Um, Boca Raton we're thinking about going to that one, mostly just so that we can bother Joe and Rachel. Uh, <laughs> Low Carb Denver, we're definitely going to that one. Um, and Low Carb Cruise 2023, the plan is that we're going to that one, but we have to actually figure out like who's going and what. Wow, I am so far behind on comments, I feel like Joe. <laughs> uh, I, part of me, I'm going to skip some comments right now. La, 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 LaShawn says, eat meat, right? Eat meat. Now, Joe was funny. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. He told me today that Rachel was worried that he had upset me when he said that they weren't going to do any more, likely weren't going to do any more only keto chows for a long period of time. And I'm like, why would that upset you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just replied and said, she's so funny. Um, Nancy says, when I do not finish a full pint of the creamy and I put it in the freezer, then I respin it. It becomes powder and difficult to get creamy again. Suggestions. Um, probably the best thing to do in that case, because I've noticed the same thing. If you use Terra gum, a lot of times it doesn't do that. What's Terra gum? Uh, it's a powder that it's kind of like xanthan gum, but... It's above the microwave. You put a, a quarter teaspoon into each serving, and uh, it just it makes it a lot smoother. Okay. The other th thing is, okay, when, when you got the powder, then let that sit out. Or just run it on a respin a bunch of times. Uh, let's see. Scash says, I agree. Pecan pie flavor would be fantastic. Nope. Anybody else says, can you make a pineapple keto chow? We do have the pina colada. Um, yeah, Frank says, Maria Emmerich and Erisman said, don't drink your protein. Yeah, I know they say that. Uh, they also really like our uh, egg white protein. And I'm not going to say the thing I was about to say because I don't Spoiler talk about alert. unreleased products <laughs> or even things that I'm thinking about making. So uh, let's see. Risa Kio says, okay, now Emily wants some more, right? Uh, let's see, Nancy says, too crazy keto, so sad, you can ask why. Um, what? talking about, I don't know, what did they say? I must, it must not have shown us th their comment that they, uh, okay. said that. I hope they're okay. Yeah. I think someone asked them if they were doing something, and he says, unfortunately not. Oh. Okay, well, let's see. Yeah, respinning it would work. Um, Sean says, I did freeze a bang in a creamy pint once and use one of the other buttons. I tried that with a, uh, oh, what's it called? Soda. Yes. With a Zevia, and it did not work, like, at all. Like, it was a terrible, terrible thing. Julie says, I do the same thing with my creamy. I add a little bit of warm water and respin the second night. Um, Dennis, our friend Dennis, likes to add a little bit of heavy cream. And that will do it as well. 
let's see. Sean says, oh, people on Amazon. <laughs> oh, they're talking about the... Uh, <laughs> Carrie says, Kate is extremely funny with her salty bun. Uh, let's see. Amos says, I'm her brother, your dad joke about escalators. Um, let's see. Yeah, Mike says, it's really heavy with doctors, the San Diego event. Um, it, yeah, it's more of a doctor event because they offer continuing medical education credits as well. Joe Ray's here. Did you meet Joe Ray? I'm not sure. Heard about them, though. She's just a little pocket rocket. She's pocket little, rocket? She's a little short lady. Well. She's great. <laughs> <laughs> her and her mom. Uh, Joe Ray says, someone pump, posted your pumpkin soup, and now I can't think, think about it. You're, you know the pumpkin sausage soup. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have developed a... Uh, proclivity for spiciness but also i don't like soup you don't like soup but mm. anyway <laughs> mary says i can't wait to try eggnog or gingerbread that sound so good hope to see them uh let's see yvonne says to preserve my last few caramel single caramel macchiato i only use one tablespoon of as a coffee creamer and as an egg in my coffee so creamy and yummy I'm about to get five days out of oh Able to get five days out of one pack. Nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, Rhonda still has a stash of gingerbread. Wow. <laughs> uh, Kel wants butter brickle. Yeah, Mike says casein is the word he wants. Yes. Uh, let's see. Annabeth says, I've not been well, and keto chow helps me feel better. That's a fantastic. Mm -hmm. And Robin says, I made a keto chow recipe for chili, and my non-keto husband said he thought it was my best chili recipe. If you're talking about Joe's chili recipe, that's... Absolutely a fantastic recipe. I don't like that one. You don't like that one either? All right. I just am very specific about my soups. Okay. Oh, yeah. Two Great Secure says they're all already traveling that weekend and then twice in September. Also, the event is 450. Yep. Um, oh, Shauna's mom made her first keto chow drop biscuits in the new air fryer. Ah. Joe Ray's going to be a keto palooza. You guys missed some fun karaoke in Orlando. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> we had stuff that we had to do instead. You I actually at home. well, you guys were doing the the you thing, and I went camping with Audrey and Haley. Ah, uh, I mean, fun? no, not with Haley, just Audrey. It was just Audrey and I. Mike wants me to skip that comment. Uh, let's see. Two crazy kilos wants a walnut. Keto chat. Serena says goes <laughs> and checks above the microwave. Nope, no tarragum. No, above our microwave. <laughs> Uh, Jory says he used tarragum in green chili soup. It turned out great. So much better than xanth and gum texture-wise. Nice. Serena says perfect keto collagen makes ice cream with a creamy so smooth. Oh, that's a good idea. <clears throat> older, older Pennsylvania says if you add a tablespoon of almond milk or cream and respin, it's fine. Tarragum costs a lot. I don't think it was all that different. Okay. <laughs> Annabelle says, yeah, Queenslanders are mad for pineapple. <laughs> uh, Miriam decided to show up. Hi, Aww. Miriam. I know her. Yeah. John says, my bang creamy turned out like an icy. Oh, see, mine just, nope, it turned out terrible. Okay, Tony has a great question that's actually on the list of stuff we want to talk about tonight. Is keto chow vegetarian? So most vegetarians uh, do eat stuff made by an animal, so eggs, milk, but they don't eat anything that required an animal to die, to put it simply. Um, in which case, keto chow, as far as I can tell, is vegetarian. If you don't count single-celled organisms as part of the criteria, because the vitamin K comes from single-celled organisms. <clears throat> Also, um, bovine cows byproduct. Well, yeah, vegan. that's the milk. Mm -hmm. Now, vegan, that means you don't use, it didn't come from animals at all. In which case, keto chow is decidedly not vegan. It is not plant only. In fact, almost all of the uh, components come from animal sources or synthetic sources like our methylated folate uh all those different things so the yeah the non-soup ones i would say yes they're vegetarian the soup ones 
those use powdered beef, absolutely very much not vegetarian in that case because that's coming from beef muscle. Okay, lots of people saying hi to Miriam, which is great because I can just skip, skip, skip. Skip, skip, skip. Luis says, hi guys, have you ever tried carnivore bread? Are you talking about the egg white bread uh, that Maria Emmerich first kicked off and now has uh, gained some notoriety also with help from Indigo Neely? Yes, I have tried that and it's great. I don't like like bread substitutes. Okay. I'll just eat my meat and be good. And now that's... <laughs> I, I have to agree with you. I like it for a special thing like, okay, I'm going to make a grilled cheese sandwich and it's going to be awesome. Although I do like a grilled cheese spam -witch too. <laughs> Fry, spam, put cheese in between it, eat it. It's delicious. Um, oh, Miriam says they were catching fireflies. Oh. Huh. We, I actually saw fireflies for the first time ever when we were up at Bear Lake. Really? Yeah, I'd never, never seen, seen them before. Them. Well, didn't you come with us? No. You didn't go on that walk with us? Uh, no. Oh. I decided to stay in yeah, then you missed it. the shared room that I had. Ryan says, I saved some of my kiochai mixture in a sandwich bag, uh, about an ounce for the second day, and used that to add to smoothness. Nice. That's a good way to do it. Sally wants tart cherry pie. Uh, the problem with cherry is it keeps tasting like cough drops. <laughs> I can't get a cherry that doesn't taste like cough drops. Uh, Miriam says, Kate likes egg drop soup and chicken broth without noodles. Okay. Yep. With extra chicken. Yep. Uh, let's see. Maria, Miriam says, I took a picture and was escaping. Okay. Um, uh, Bonnie says, I'm hoarding two blueberry pie keto chow. You have more than I do at that point because I only got one. Penny says, I love butter pecan. I just ordered the butter pecan ice cream flavoring from one-on-one -on -one flavoring. So I'm going to put it in my vanilla... Keto chow creamy, can't wait. And to answer your question, uh, Frank, I believe the reason why the Emmerichs say don't drink your protein, period, is because generally speaking, and I've talked to Maria about this, the reason why they're saying that is because people think that a protein shake is a meal, and it's not. It's lacking the vitamins and everything else. That's what differentiates keto chow from everything else. Um, Maria, her big hang up with keto chow, and the reason why she does not recommend it, is the milk protein. And she actually does like the beef protein stuff that we have. So there you go. So I don't know what else you're, or you're talking about, but I do know what Maria has said to me. So there you go. Mm. Kathleen says, nothing wrong with cherry-flavored cough drops as long as it's London's cough drops. Uh, Sally says, cheese soup base. I tried cheese, and it was terrible. Supposing darkness says, what's the difference flavor-wise between cherry and black cherry? Black cherries taste different, I guess. Uh, Serena says, after my surgery, I wasn't able to cook so, so much. Keto chow helped me. It's a, it's a tool, like me, like everything else. A delicious tool for sure. People say I'm a tool. Okay, got a question for you. Why does Keto Chow have higher prices on Amazon, Walmart, and eBay? Oh, okay. So when it's on the website... Our website. Yes, our website. You're getting directly from us. Yeah. When it's like from Amazon, Amazon makes an order, we ship it to them. They put their little price on it too. Yeah, they charge a fee. Yeah, they charge a fee. 15% plus 5% in case you want to know the exact amount. And then there's an additional fee on top of that. Anyway. And then like eBay. They also charge a fee? Yep. So does Walmart. Mm -hmm. It's not like we're putting it in Walmart stores. So Walmart has a marketplace where anybody can list stuff. And we have it, just like Kate was saying, mm -hmm. we have it for a higher price on Amazon, Walmart, and eBay because of the additional fees that they charge. In addition to that, when you buy it from there, you don't get the rewards points, you cannot use any coupons, and you're, you're getting free shipping from us anyway. Um, plus, you get to employ people who put together stuff like the... I don't the, do shipping. No, you do the sample packs. If you've ever the gotten a, a sample bundle from us, it might have been put together by Kate. Yeah. Okay. Now, someone wanted to know... 
why do we even have keto chow on Walmart, Facebook, I mean, Walmart, Amazon, and eBay. And this right here is why. Let me scroll up so that you can actually see what I'm talking about. This is a, 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 a listing for Keto Chow. What they did is they copied our images off of Amazon. They copied the title from Amazon. They took the Amazon price and then added enough for them to make money and you'll notice it isn't shipped, it's not sold by Keto Chow. It's sold by Quick Brew, Homeware Distribution. And if you read their reviews, people are like, why are you charging so much for everything? This is a single sample pack. So the main reason we have Keto Chow listed on Amazon, like this, is so that there's a decent price and so that the people who want to do uh, price arbitrage uh, can't make any money. I mean, if you're going to buy it off of Walmart, at least buy it from us. But uh, it does cost more. We're adding 15% to the price on Amazon and on Walmart and on eBay. So there you go. Let's see. Let's read some of the... Uh, Annabelle says, Would you, could you do a chocolate eclair keto chow? I bet you that uh, donut flavor would probably do it. Trina says, I've met tools. You're not a tool. Okay. Mike says, I like to drink my protein unless I'm getting it in my ice cream. I Now, I will tell you, I prefer steak over keto chow. Um, but that's just me. Uh, Carrie says, I saw Amazon's price for keto chow is about 50 It should be $9.99. It should be the exact same price as it is on Walmart. $9.99 for a single pack and one oh three fifty, I think it is, for the large 21 meal bag. Cindy says, while well, I have basic training in the army, cherry cough drops were the only thing we could have for candy. <laughs> we all bought lots and we went to the PX. That was many decades ago. Wow. Uh, let's see. Annabelle says, Kyocha is about 180 on, oh, Amazon Australia. Uh, and that's probably somebody, they're probably buying it from Amazon and reshipping it to them and then reshipping it to you. Um, Incidentally, if you are in, sharing again, uh, ketochow.co.nz. If you are in Australia or in New Zealand, be sure to check out ketochow.co.nz. It's the source. It the says source. Over here somewhere. Anyway, yeah, the source distribution. They distribute Keto Chow in New Zealand and they can ship to Australia very inexpensively. And Miriam really wants to go and visit them, but there are no direct flights from uh, the United States. <laughs> uh, let's see. Exposing the darkness says there's nothing to stop someone from selling Keto Chow to Amazon and for a much higher price. You are correct. There is... Uh, um, yeah. It's the... If you can buy stuff and sell it for whatever you want, and if people want to pay it, hey, that works, but... Uh, Anyway, Sherry says, does Kyocha ever send emails asking to confirm charges on subscriptions of the clique? No. Nope. We do not. Uh, we, we will send an email letting you know that a charge is coming up. It'll be like, hey, your subscription is going to renew. If you want to change it, you should log into your account uh, but it won't ever ask you to, like, confirm a charge, then that would probably be a phishing attempt. Um, yeah, just log in to your account from the website. That's a much better... And uh, with anything, like a bank, if you get something from your bank, I mean, that's just general good idea. If you get an email from your bank saying, hey, we, you check out blah, 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 don't click the link, just log into there. Cindy says, that sounds like a fun trip. Sally says, in the Philippines, Hall's cough drops are labeled as Hall's candy. I was shocked the first time I had one. They love them. That is so funny. Apparently in the Philippines, they think the idea of cheese is disgusting. I had, some fr I had a friend who lived in the Philippines, and he's like, yeah, they, they just couldn't even comprehend cheese. They were just like, I just, no. 
Kelsey has been to New Zealand twice. Beautiful country. South Island is my favorite. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's two islands. Two islands. Yeah. Cindy says, I got the Keto Chow Basic Essential Bundle to get it quicker. Have bought two more essentials and a surprise box from Keto Chow on their own website. Nice. I was just packaging essentials. Yeah, you were yesterday. doing essentials today. Yesterday. Um, <laughs> uh, Bertha says, I tried chocolate milk, coconut milk powder, and heavy cream and coconut milk liquid with vanilla Keto Chow. It was so good. Yeah, Lori says, Blueberry Keto Chow in Canada was sold out in 36 hours. That sounds about right. <laughs> Sean says, Yeah, those schools' cough drops were. Just candy. Um, let's see. Oh, we had someone who wanted to know, are the keto chow ingredients locally sourced? I guess it depends on what you mean by local. There, some of the ingredients only come from one part of the world. Um, the acacia gum fiber only comes from Sudan. There's nowhere else to get it from. Um, the... Milk protein isolate comes from um, the eastern United States uh, around the New Jersey and uh, Pennsylvania area. Um, the, ma no, the magnesium malate is produced in Utah. The salt is made in Utah as well, but I... We do not make any claim, nor do we want to make any claim of it being locally sourced, organic, or anything like that. My primary concern with Keto Chow is to make it as nutritious as possible because my own children use it, and I use it. Um, that's my chief prime, above everything else, no compromise on nutrition. Um, secondly, I recognize that a lot of people use it for a good portion of their food. And so we try to make sure that we are keeping the price as low as possible and only the raising the prices when we absolutely have no choice, which is what we recently did on the 1st of August. Uh, let's see. Mike says they don't eat cheese, but they eat eggs with baby chickens inside and squid jerky. Yes, you're right. Where did you hang out for those 24 months, Mike? I forgot to ask that. Um, Shauna says I'm still holding it onto eight packets of keto chow. Serena so says since going keto, I've only used cough drops a couple of times, but I haven't gotten cold in that time. Gotten a cold. Gotten cold. Just <laughs> just COVID twice. That is a non-scale victory because I used to get at least four colds a year. You got COVID, didn't uh -huh. you? Mom did. Oh, that's so. You and me and Sam are the only ones in the family that never got it. I thought you got it. Well, I don't think I, I might have, like, tested positive for it, but I yeah. didn't have, like, symptoms. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Okay, uh, somebody asked, are the daily minerals supposed to be blue in color? They were transparent the last time I ordered them. So there is some difference from batch to batch. They, we, we keep them in between a certain margin. The thing that makes them blue is, or not, is if there is the correct amount of copper in there. And the copper is the one thing that I like the taste of the least, which is why I always add lemon to my daily minerals. Always. I just put them the citrus in makes my it soda. Away. Oh, that works too. Um, but yeah, so they are supposed to be a slight blue, but depending on the particular batch, they may be a little bit less blue or a little bit more blue, just depending on that. Um, Annabelle says, Kate is one of my favorite names. And Betsy says, great job tonight, Chris and Kate, just so you know. Okay. Uh, well, usually I ask mom if there's anything else she wanted to talk about, but is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Okay, well, cool. Oh, we still need to watch Carnivore's Angels videos with Dr. Boss, huh? With the higher fat stuff. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we'll probably... Uh, I'm gonna, uh, maybe we can do that tomorrow. Anyway, we're going to take off, everybody. You have a fantastic night. Um, Miriam should be back on Monday. She better. <laughs> she better. Anyway, you have a good night, and we will catch you on Monday. Bye, everybody. <laughs>